Hello friends, welcome again to this session on algebraic identities and today we are going to take up one new special identity which is called Sophie Germain identity. Okay, now this is a French mathematician Sophie Germain and she was in 18th century. So she was from 1776, uh, you know, to 1831. So this lady came up with uh, this identity and the identity goes like this. So a to the power 4 plus 4 times b to the power 4 will be equal to a plus b whole square plus b square as one factor and a minus b whole square plus b square. Now this particular identity becomes very very useful if you have to prove that some expression is not a prime. Also if, if you have this kind of an expression then you can factor it in these two factors. Now let us see how it is derived. So a square a to the power 4 plus 4 times b to the power 4 can be written as a square square plus 2b square whole square isn't it like this. Now you can see this particular thing resembles some a square and this one resembles b square isn't it. So a square plus b square is there if I get 2ab term as well then I can complete the square and hence I can do something about it. So let us see how to go about it. So hence if you see a square whole square plus 2b square whole square and then we are adding 2a square times 2b square. Why? Because I have to complete the square. And since I have I am adding this, so I have to dis, you know uh, subtract this item from the expression. Now the first three terms, these three terms complete the square and it becomes a square plus 2b square whole square. And this term is reduced to 4a square b square. Again, if you see, the whole expression is reduced to a square minus b square form, isn't it? So hence, we can deploy the identity a square minus b square is a plus b a minus b. And hence, you'll get a square plus 2b square plus 2ab. So plus 2ab and a square plus 2b square minus 2ab. This is what the identity would look like. Now, if you see, Again, there is a square term of a binomial. So if you see how 2b square can be split into b square and this b square, isn't it? Now, if you club them together, a square plus b square plus 2ab, you know already this is a plus b whole square. And this b square comes here, plus b square. And similarly here also, a square plus b square minus 2ab comes to a minus b whole square. And this b square comes here. Okay, so hence, what did we learn? We learned this particular identity called Sophie Germain identity wherein fourth powers are factored and fourth factor uh, fourth power especially of this type there has to be a 4 right so a to the power 4 plus 4 times b to the power 4 can be expressed like that isn't it now let us see an application of this identity so question is prove that n to the power 4 plus 4 is even is never a prime number is never a prime number for all n greater than 1 or n belongs to natural number set that is n is a natural number clearly if n equals to 1 so 1 plus 4 is 5 which is a prime number so hence this condition has been given so n has to be greater than 1 so how to solve so n to the power 4 plus 4 can be written as n to the power 4 plus 4 times 1 to the power 4 and now using Sophie Germain identity we can say let us say a is equal to n and b is equal to 1 in that identity so n to the power 4 plus 4 to the power 4 into 1 to the power 4 can be expressed like this isn't it n plus 1 whole square plus 1 square times n minus 1 whole square plus 1 square so this is the identity which i'm using i'm just substituting n for a and 1 for b right so hence this can be factored into two factors n plus 1 whole square plus 1 and n minus 1 whole square plus 1 right so there are two factors over and above 1 and the expression itself. So anything which has more than two factors will never be a prime. So whatever be the value of n, you will always find n plus 1 whole square plus 1 and n minus 1 whole square plus 1 as two factors of this given expression. Isn't it? So hence, there are more than two factors and hence n to the power 4 plus 4 cannot be a prime number. Isn't it? So using a Sophie Germain identity, we could prove that this expression will never be a prime if n is greater than 
one.